Wang Zhao's resignations represent the latest blow to the Dingxin International Group's empire. Government-backed board members had insisted on Wei's ouster to protect the image of Taiwan's landmark skyscraper. On the 84th floor of Taipei 101 is Dingxin's Taipei headquarters. In an exhibition area is a video that describes the founding of the company. Prominently displayed is a group logo that symbolizes the glory of a salmon returning home. <laughs> Taipei 101 is Taiwan's tallest building and a popular tourist destination. Last year, property in the building was valued at 5.02 billion NT per ping, enough to surpass Shinkong Life Tower to take over the title of most valuable property in Taiwan. The building lost money for years until it turned a profit of 1.07 billion NT last year. Rental occupancy reached 90% and 100% in the shopping plaza area. The Wei family has always taken credit for profits at Taipei 101, but is it deserved? I believe that the Wei family overestimates its abilities. I'm sure, however, that while the family won't want to run a business that loses money, once it has grasped onto a profitable one, it won't want to let go. By establishing a home for Dingxin in Taipei 101, the Wei brothers brought honor to the family name. If they are expelled from the corporation that runs the landmark, it could pose a threat to their group's finances. Losing Taipei 101 would reduce the group's capital. Banks could tighten credit, causing a domino effect. Other Dingxing investments that could be affected include Wei Chuan owned land in Sanchong, New Taipei, and a joint loan taken out to purchase cable TV operator China Network Systems. In an attempt to shake off pressure, Wang Zhao agreed to quit his management roles. Getting the Wei family to surrender the 37% stake it holds in Taipei Financial Center Corporation, however, may not be so easy.